Hi guys, welcome to this new video about the BlackBerry Passport and uh, we are talking about today uh, BlackBerry Maps they shut down last week they shut down last week, it doesn't work anymore we don't have the native map on our beloved uh, device and uh, because of that I lost my appointment I thought there was a problem with my data connection because I have AT&T as you can see and uh, I couldn't figure out, so I call AT&T, I try to restart the phone and everything because usually it just worked fine, but I couldn't reach the place, so I lost my appointment, I couldn't load the map, as so, like, I don't know what's going on. So when I got back home, I found out uh, through the website, the blackberry.com, sorry, and uh, through uh, Crackberry, then uh, they start to shut down some services, some uh, server and then the map is dead so I cannot have my uh, GPS on my phone what I'm gonna do carry another one buy a Tom Tom a Garmin whatever I don't want to carry that much stuff with me and I said like my phone is still capable to do stuff it's just about to find the right app that can like replace an alternative to substitute the one so I was lucky to uh, after a lot of research to uh, meet some uh, good guys on uh, Crackberry and uh, on Facebook there is uh, like a, a huge community for the Blackberry Passport so there is a group that I suggest you guys to subscribe because you can find solution and sometimes I also put my video there so what we're going to talk uh, what, what are we going talking about today is like a specific uh, you can see three maps so we have a magic heart maps from uh, Google actually which is surprisingly work very well and maps.me okay let's go with the first one of course I'm gonna put the link in the description below you guys can download it and uh, I'm testing uh, I'm doing this video after testing all of those for six days every day all of them so magic hurt it's uh, kind of like a very similar to um, our previous former dead <laughs> Uh, Blackberry map um, you gonna have a, a very reliable GPS a signal no problem at all see so you can see also places around you and then you can search whatever you want there for praticity we're gonna just uh, click on one of my history and let's say that I wanna go to Starbucks okay There we go. Now I'm gonna go start back uh, driving, of course. So it's three minutes far away. Did I click right? Thank you. It's calculating now. <laughs> see, see? Uh, no problem. Of course, it's tiny little like a. Uh, lower but it works fine it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't sorry it doesn't freeze which is the most important thing so it gets you there and the funny thing like you can see the places around you guys like a google maps you know like uh, the other map it didn't work like that this is like much better in my opinion so at this point what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start my trip i accept whatever they said There you go. So it's starting. It talk. It give you the live directions. You can change the languages. You can change the voice. Uh, you can change like uh, miles for kilometers. Right now, see, it's in kilometers per hour, like my speed. It's in meters, but I can put like in miles, whatever I want, and it works just fine. And there is no issue. You can also go back. Let's see if we can do that to show you guys. That you can do. Um, also a local search of a restaurant and places next to you let's see i'm going to just leave it a minute stop the navigation yes Okay, 
let's see if we go back to the home screen. Something also I noticed that is good that is happening now, you guys. I have a Spotify on, right? So when a Spotify is on, sometime I notice they're going conflict with the any GPS map and it got a little slower. So I just put like a Spotify right now, but I suggest you guys if you can do without Spotify, it's much better because maybe it can give you this little issue right now. Okay, so main screen back, no problem. We go on search again to show you like the last few things and we go to the other one. See, you have history, you have your favorites, you have your concept, you have your addresses, whatever you want. And let's say you want to look like a for a gas station next to you because you need to put a gas and you don't know anyone. Boom, right there, see, very close to you. You click on whatever you want and you just go there. Uh, depending category, see, mm -hmm. like you have a restaurant, you have a, um, sorry, you have a hotel or whatever you want. If you go here, I think, yeah, that's all the, the, the typology category shopping and everything. So it works very well. It's kind of like a Google Maps. So whatever you want to find, you'll find it. If you don't have a specific place that you need to go. Let's say you're looking for, you know, like I'm talking randomly because like we know how the maps works, but I, I'm just excited because the, before like a DNP map, it didn't work like that. Uh, a restaurant next to you and then you can find it right away. You have a GPS, you have a, a, a specific address. You just put it there and it bring you there and it doesn't crack. Uh, it doesn't, sorry, it doesn't um, freeze at all. Okay, so Magic Heart is um, a beautiful and very reliable GPS map navigator system that work good on your BlackBerry passport, okay? Now that we are done with this one, we are going on Maps. Maps is just Google and surprisingly is working even better than the other one because, I mean, like, as I always say, you guys, I'm just a, a passionate person about this phone. I'm not like a super techno guy. And I thought like to have a Google map, so I listed this version I must have a Google services and uh, since you guys know my previous video I delete everything concerning like uh, Google services Google Play Store Google identity all the stuff because it was draining my battery and I had to the, delete all the Android apps because my phone it couldn't last even like uh, three hours and it was always plugged I said like I'm gonna I'm gonna like uh, damage the battery because it's always plug it plug it plug it so i download i, I re erase everything and that uh, you saw you guys like my last video of uh, the other app aptoid or aptoid yeah i think it's a uh, pronounced aptoid and i download uh, like the apk and it worked like uh, just fine okay same thing for this one you guys same thing you go here you're looking for a place see it's even better than the other one i want to go like uh, this place that is my my friend restaurant is faster than the other one and it's reliable like the other one no problem so at this point i go get directions my location is already there navigate see how fast is that and it works perfectly i got after the place which is 22 miles away from me i went to another place and i got back home no problem so i did like a long trip and i got no problem so google maps or maps whatever it's uh the name of this one but it's google i'm gonna put also the link for you guys that you can download this one and it works perfectly so uh you have the menu here you can put the address whatever you want here because this is my uh, history uh, you can of course go on setting and change your voice and stuff or whatever is the uh, view that you want to have on your GPS and everything but as you can see you guys look it gets you like everything around you in a second look boom and there is all the streets and the restaurant and where I am right now no problem so it works like a flawlessly even faster than the than a T1 so we're still alive with our BlackBerry passport we still can use it so you guys don't panic you don't have a, uh, the BlackBerry maps it's not a problem we got those two and they work perfect so far <laughs> until today 
the last one that I want to talk about is uh, like a, an offline map. Offline map is called a maps.me. This one is very useful and it works also as a navigator. So if you put the address, it also gives you a live, <coughs> like live uh, route and direction. But let's say that you don't have any data, you don't have an internet connection, you cannot use your internet on your phone because you are camping somewhere <coughs> and internet is not accessible. You don't have internet reception, you cannot even call. What are you gonna do? You need to just uh, get out from uh, the area to get a freeway or just get like uh, the closest city and you try, try, try. Maybe you go around for one hour. Of course, maybe you can get a certain point, asking people, whatever, but let's say that you really need it to move around you. What are you gonna do with this one? Since it is offline, you're going to download the map of the place where you live. In my case, um, sorry, there's no central America. Ah, go back. You downloaded the map where you live. North America. In this case, uh, I downloaded, what is it? The state where I live, if it decide to work. I already downloaded the, oh, here, America. Okay, so there is the list of all the states. Of course, it depends where you are because this is worldwide. So you can download any one. I also download it on my um, Blackberry Passport, like uh, my Silver Edition right here. I download it like uh, Italy because I'm gonna use this one back when I go Italy. And uh, I test it and everything works like a perfect. So you download the map of the state where you are and then uh, since the it's uh, offline, now to watch a short then video, you can use free music. the GPS on this one. Yes, uh, really. If you tap now to like watch a short video, video, you'll receive 30 minutes of ad-free music. Work. Route. From my location. Okay. With double the seasoned beef and a large drink, all for five dollars, Taco Bell's Grande Nachos truly deserves a Grande yeah, intro. You. Perhaps with a Grande. Even this one work perfectly. There we go. So this one is kind of like a different because this one will work offline, and sometimes it doesn't really give you like the address that you're looking for. They give you like an error, but at least you have an offline method you can console so you can get a point. Let's say that you really don't need like a specific like a, a address to reach but you say like okay I'm in my case I'm in Salt Lake City okay I'm in Salt Lake City and I want to travel south to another city that is called for example like a Provo and then like uh, I don't need to go specifically in, a, in any a place in Provo but just Provo Center downtown uh, I don't have a GPS I mean sorry I don't have internet so with this one, even if you don't have internet, as long as you put on your location, you don't have a data, you might be able to do that. If it doesn't work the route, you can even consult the map because you zoom or whatever and you get there. So this is like in case that you guys need to consult the map on your phone offline. And it works also as a GPS, as you guys saw. So you just give it a route to see if it's working just fine. Okay, so basically those three are uh, the apps that I found out this last week. Charge your battery before it's terminated. <laughs> Sorry, it's just like my battery uh, application. Um, yeah, I mean, like I'm, I'm very excited, guys, because I was panicking because without the maps, I said like there is no way that we couldn't figure out how to make it work like the GPS on my passport but I found out those guys that I really appreciate them uh, that uh, they some of those even develop these apps some of those they just uh, uh, suggest me these apps and I'm gonna put like the link on the description below that you guys can download it and I really hope it is gonna work for you. Whatever you live in the world, please let me know how it works because all of them that 
they just work fine everywhere. I like to receive a, a, a feedback from you guys to see if they work fine, if you have any issue with them, if they load fine, if they get you at the spot like uh, precisely. And uh, I really like to know uh, from you guys if uh, those three, especially those two, the Magic Heart and the Maps, it works very uh, well for you. Uh, my other hope is really like, I don't know what's going on by January uh, next year because they say they're gonna shut down the, the server and services for uh, all the BB10 and uh, our beloved passport is uh, BB10. So I don't know if we will be able to use this phone with data connection, calling and text. I hope so because to be honest with you guys, once I go back to Europe, my main phone is gonna be my Blackberry Passport of the Silver Edition. I wanna use the one as long as possible because I love this phone and I don't wanna uh, switch it unless really the new Blackberry is gonna blow our minds and we're gonna love it so much and it's gonna be very look like a Blackberry that maybe I can consider even to spend a thousand dollars on Blackberry, I will do that. If it's not, I will stick with the past because as long as it works, this one for me is what I needed. The screen, the pad, the, the, the keypad, uh, the speakers and everything is like what uh, we really love about the Blackberry Passport. And we're not talking about how amazing is like the hub, how amazing is like all the gesture, you know, like uh, this is like a unique phone. And then as long as it works, we can use it. Um, I'm always like uh, from the idea that a phone is a phone, it's just for uh, communication. And I don't need much on my phone personally, of course. I don't need uh, like a much social, I don't need the games or stuff like that. Even if I have on my phone, I can have some time fun, I can watch even full movies. I love YouTube on uh, my BlackBerry Passport because as a full screen is amazing, but overall uh, a phone, especially like a BlackBerry Passport is a, like a very business and communication, communication really oriented. And that's the most important thing. I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. Please uh, leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment also. Uh, and uh, let me know if it works for you. I'm very happy because it works just very fine with me. I would say like a excellent is the maps, even better than Magic Heart. But Magic Heart didn't give me any problem. It's just like maps is fast. It just work like in a snap. You see, like you you put address and it just gets you there like immediately, no problem. The other one it uh, it lets you wait a couple of minutes uh, before. Uh, Loads, but it's nicer even the you know the graphics. So Magic Hearts has a nicer graphic than Maps. Maps is very essential, it's good, and it just gets you whatever you want. Um, that's all, guys. That's all, and then uh, thank you so much for following me. Thank you so much for uh, like uh, a huge amount of support that I received from you and uh, like uh, the, the view on my video. I really appreciate it. It never been my goal to have like a, such a thing like a, over two or three thousand view on one video, really. But I appreciate it because it means like people watching this video, they learn something, we share something, and we can improve uh, our knowledge. And uh, in this case, the passport can last longer because we share our experience and we can help each other. Why not? Because I hope that this video is going to help someone like me a week ago that was like a totally like a, a desperate about having my GPS back on my phone and I really appreciate like uh, uh, you guys that follow uh, me and all, all, all the other uh, Blackberry uh, lovers on YouTube so I will say thank you again and uh, I will say bye now and thank you so much and they're calling me Thank you so much for being uh, like uh, so kind with your comments and uh, leave uh, also a like and a subscribe. See you next time. Bye.